when I came here, I had very clearly figured out some of the challenges that I was facing, you know, uh, how do I handle relationship in personal context, professional mm -hmm. context, this, this, there was a certain kind of trend that was emerging mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the challenges that I was facing. Mm -hmm. How do you really let go of things because it's kind of, you know, being women we create these kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know, structures around in our head and we get stuck into our own head. Mm -hmm. How do we really come out of it? What do we do? So mm -hmm. I kind of figured out what the problem is, but I wasn't sure about how do I really go forward? How do I really work on it? Mm -hmm. And today after end of uh, the, on the day three, uh, yeah. I am clear in terms of that these are the clearly four or five things that I'm going to do, yeah. uh, you know. Yeah working in yeah, likewise, meetings or likewise. you know with people as well you know i mean yeah. the reason that it feels so powerful and it really feels like i already feel something shifted yeah but i know there's like so much more to come as i kind of get better at this is because it's so intuitive yeah you know there's nothing in this that kind of felt like an intellectual stretch that's that I, the best part like about really it which i like extended in trying to either understand it yeah. or get the reason or logic behind it it felt so intuitive yeah you know and and I mean, why aren't we teaching this to kids in school? I mean, like yeah. this should this should be part of like life skills that we're giving to people. Yeah, know? yeah. After, after going through all of this, I'm realizing that I was such a fool and these are such simple <laughs> things, you know, it's just basic things that we are not doing, you know, yeah. uh, how to handle a conversation, yeah. how to really, you know, work on our beliefs. Uh, yeah. Fine, you know, we all know that it's all our beliefs, yeah. but somebody telling you on your face that if you are attracting something, mm -hmm. it's all because of you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound nice, but that's mm -hmm. how it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah that's... Me as well, something you know. that sort of really stuck out is that it's sort of thing where it makes it like an inescapable fact for you yeah. that you have to take responsibility for anything that's happening in your life. Yeah. You have right. to take responsibility. Absolutely. Yeah. And at least now I feel it gives you the sort of tools that you can really start to, you know, take this like I'm taking responsibility that I'm taking responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Right. And but then you start to like really integrate that. Yeah. And also I think somehow, especially with the, the group, because it was small and we spent so much time together. When I was filtering all this information through this new like paradigm almost, it made me kind of look at everybody a lot more compassionately. Mm. Yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah, it really did. Because we, we just we, we meet people and we look at them and say, This one's an asshole, she's a bitch, <laughs> this one has anger issues. Tell me about yeah. it. Yeah. But at least and we can we have we totally can empathize with them. Yeah. Everybody yeah, is unique. See that, right. you know, everybody's kind of picked up all their yeah. negative beliefs yeah. or like you know, beliefs that are, are limiting them in some way. Yeah. And you can have compassion for it because you know a lot of this stuff happens when you're really young and we yeah. didn't have a say in how we're getting programmed. It yeah. just happened to us. Yeah. Yeah. But if anybody is really at that point where they would like to take charge of their life and yeah. take responsibility for themselves, yeah, 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 sure. it's, a, it's a good place to start. Yeah. No, I, I can clearly see, you know, uh, day in, day out, I handle clients, yeah. uh, I handle uh, corporate clients or, yeah. you know, all sorts of people around us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the techniques that we've learned about how do you really, uh, you know, repel certain things, mm -hmm. how do you really attract certain things, mm -hmm. it is such a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel so much in command of myself that, mm -hmm. yes, now I can really control things mm -hmm. the way I want to, yeah. the kind of people I want to be with. The, the way I want this this particular uh, conversation to proceed, mm -hmm. which direction I want to give it to, there's so many. It is so much fascinating for me now that I just want to go and apply that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's. See, the you know, that's the difference between. Um, like Rajeshri was having a conversation about this. You know, sometimes yeah. really, the that sort of distance to cover with empowerment mm -hmm. can be a really short one. You know, yeah. you can either look at yourself in like the state of victimhood mm -hmm. or you can say that no, I'm, I'm, I'm taking charge of the situation. And yeah. of course, you, you do it by still setting some boundaries yeah. for yourself. But, but how empowering to know that you really are in a situation to make any relationship better. Yeah. You know, be it a professional one, personal one, with your family, children. Yeah. Yeah. With but people that you meet for a very short while yeah, or right. people that you've known for for decades, you yeah. know, it's sort of as effective and it can, I mean, even with the exercises that we did, mm -hmm. I mean, we were only just three days in, into the process and yeah. you could instantly tell, like, you were using yeah. this and it was working. Yeah. 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 Having like-minded people, yeah. they, they automatically come together and the learning doesn't stop, mm -hmm. you know, during those yeah. hours of the classes. Yeah. It goes on after that, yeah. you know. Yeah. The conversations we have had over breakfast, yeah. uh, dinner table, yeah. uh, you know, people sharing yeah. their experiences has been so fascinating. It's 
nice to yeah. be in an environment. It's, it's definitely a transformation thing for me, definitely, yeah. which I was postponing for yeah. for some time. I'm glad that I could do it. Mm. So it's also nice to be in the company of people who take this whole process of yeah. bettering themselves very seriously. Right. And everybody over here seemed to kind of have like a real, yeah. like be, be really driven to like figure this shit out, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. nice talking to you. Same here. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.